Luxembourg is a centuries-old walled city. It was built over two levels, the upper city and the riverbed of the Alzette, which fringes the lower city. You can practically see a thousand years of history here. It starts at this founding place in Luxembourg, a rocky promontory. And behind me you see the sandstone formations that form the city. The most modern part is the Kirchberg Plateau in the northeast. Imposing bronze towers dominate the skyline. They're part of the European Court of Justice, the EU's highest judicial body. The court is composed of one judge per member state, currently 28. Tours are available every week for those curious to see their work firsthand. The Kirchberg's modern development was designed by Spanish architect Ricardo Bofil. The plateau is also known as the European Quarter. It's home to the European Court of Auditors that audits the EU's finances. It's located close to the distinct white facade of the Philharmonie Concert Hall. If you want to explore the old town, head to the Oberstadt area. The traditional houses are on UNESCO's World Heritage List, something Luxembourg is proud of. You have these pastel colors, white, sky blue, yellow, apricot, pink. Those are the typical colors of the old town. They're sandstone houses and have these special windows with white balconies. It's called Petit Carré. Luxembourg is considered a model European country, home to a mix of cultures and languages. Its residents don't just speak Luxembourgish, but also German and French. And that makes the tiny principality popular with tourists. There's a really international atmosphere here, and I get to meet people from all over. It's really easy to get to know people, and it's great with all the languages. So when you come here as a tourist, there's always a language you can speak. They're very open. There are many nationalities here. They're very warm people. Less than an hour's drive away to the east lies the picturesque Mosel Valley. The best way to explore it is on the deck of a tourist ship, taking a round trip via the Luxembourg wine route. It's a prime grape-growing region dotted with vineyards and is famous around the world for its bottled delights. I discovered on this occasion that it's a very, very nice place and uh, all is quiet, all is uh, mm, uh, very comfortable. On the left is Germany, straight ahead France, and on the right Luxembourg. The border triangle is home to Schengen. That's a small sleepy village where European history was made in 1985. These steel pillars commemorate the year when the first five EU states discontinued controls on their common borders, with the so-called Schengen Agreement. In the south, on the border to France, is Friesingen, a village known for its good food. Lea Linsta is a top chef. She grew up in this house and converted her father's gas station into a luxury restaurant that today has a Michelin star and a steady stream of delighted diners. The star cook reveals her favorite Luxembourg specialty. Bonenschlup literally means slurping beans. This is how you make it. Very important. It's great at three in the morning after everyone's final drink. It helps sober people up a bit. Another typical dish is knittelen, or flour dumplings. Real Luxembourgers can't do without them. There are no other dumplings in the world that can satisfy them, if they feel like some knittelen. 
Knudelen hat. Luxembourg's delicious cuisine. Another good reason to visit this grand duchy.